you doing? You getting good footage of me or? Who says I'm getting footage of you? Oh, okay. I'm just holding the cell phone. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, okay. There we go. How you doing? Fine. How you doing? Good. What is this? Are you an officer? It's a good question. All right, you guys. <laughs> this is a two-part video. This is Mr. Checkpoint. This is from 2017. If you are unfamiliar with Mr. Checkpoint, I, I can't even. Uh, super nice guy, super humble guy. He's been filming cops forever. Uh, he sued the city of Santa Monica and won $70,000 about 10 years ago because he refused sobriety. He refused a sobriety checkpoint tests and they arrested him for suspicion of DUI and his blood alcohol content was 0 0.0000000 repeating decimal. Um, he films a lot in the city of Beverly Hills. It's actually a genius idea. I, I, my head exploded when he, we've been talking on the phone. We met last week. He's got a, he's getting his YouTube presence ramped up. He's mostly on Instagram. That's why you see the, uh, the vertical shots on most of his videos and I, my head exploded when he told me he said first of all beverly hills any story that happens in beverly hills is international international news secondly there's only about a hundred officers in the city of beverly hills so the ability for you to run into officers that you've run into in the past is very easy versus tens of thousands for the lapd or even greater for the sheriff's department and thirdly, he said, if, if this kind of BS can happen in the city of Beverly Hills, you are screwed in small town USA. <laughs> and Beverly Hills is horrible. If you guys remember, about six months ago, he went into the front desk and was trying to file, I think, a FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act. And the officer was playing sublime on his own mobile phone in order to throw off the live stream and get a copyright strike which is mind-numbing it was great that like the local news showed up there afterwards trying to find out what what the what the f went on so fantastic so this is from 2017 this is christmas eve of 2017 he sees somebody stopped on this is on wilshire boulevard in beverly hills and there's some creeper running around here who's who plain clothes who will get to his story here in a bit so mr checkpoint has a a main channel and then also a live channel. This guy goes live on Instagram like five times a day. It's fantastic. So I'm like, dude, you're going to need a dedicated channel for that on YouTube. Uh oh, cam back. Officer steroids. Allegedly. Just listen to the disdain in this guy's voice. How you doing? Do you get any good footage of me or? <laughs> he says I'm getting footage of you. Oh, okay. oh God. He's on the cell phone. Oh, yeah. You know what? This is why people, this is one of the 4,619, 100,000 reasons why people have no respect for the police. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. There we go. How you doing? Fine. How you doing? Good. What is this? Are you an officer? <laughs> what is this? You got a police scanner on you and you look like a douche and you look like uh It's a good question. Okay. Just do me a favor, don't get too close to us, alright? Are uh, you an officer? Officer Goff, Beverly Hills PD badge number three zero four seven. I'll let you figure it out. You don't answer that? I can't go through here? Right away, be true. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go through. Major attitude. Yeah, major attitude for sure. What's up, buddy? Hey, can I get your name and badge number? Go stand in that corner. I'll can, be with you later. Can I get your name? Oh man. What a what an upstanding member of law enforcement right there. Badge number? 
Can I get his name and badge? Right now you're interrupting oh, okay. this stop, okay? Oh. Now he's interrupting your phone call with your hey, mistress. If you want to get in trouble, I strongly suggest you get away from here. Oh, okay. All right? Okay. I'll talk to you later. These are uh, pre-gimbal hey, days. I'm not done here yet. I told you when I'm done, I talk to you. Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, bye-bye. What a douche. I was just wondering what your name and badge number is. Let's put your skateboard down first. Why? Because you're being stopped on a municipal code violation. You're going to get my name and badge number. Municipal code violation. I'm running a citation. For what? Skateboarding on the sidewalk in the business district. Skateboarding on the sidewalk in a business district. Of course, skateboarding is a crime in the city of Beverly Hills. You can't even ride a scooter in the city of Beverly Hills, especially if you're black. Okay. Look at him. He is so happy with himself. Wow, crime of the century, Goff, you douche. Are you reporting the sidewalk? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you put that down? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, I'm just going to do that. For a ticket, I'm not allowed to do anything like this? For a ticket? Put that down until okay. we're done here. Okay. He's not allowed to film during a ticket? Get the... Lay it down any way you want. Oh, no. It no, could be used as a weapon! Correct, yes. Okay. Officer Carrot. Yeah, Carrot right. and Officer Stick. Could I have a walk, Commander? Come. Well, I think I'm being harassed by the officers right now. Yeah. I heard this and I would like a walk, Commander. Here. There's nothing to be nervous about. Well, There's nothing to be nervous about. Yeah. I'm nervous. I don't care. I don't. Hey, sir, I don't care. Put your hands on your knees. Sir, I don't care if you're not nervous. I'm nervous. I don't so care I'm asking for a walk, Commander. I don't care if you're nervous. No. Please don't. No. Officer Goff at the Beverly Hills Police Department, desk 3047. How come you don't wear and a I also uniform? have my serial number. Okay, this is... Mr. Checkpoint is the beast of beasts. You got to go and sub to him if you haven't already. Also, he's on Instagram and TikTok. So, apparently, he always does his homework. Officer Goff worked for the LAPD and... Um, You're misspelling up my last name. In their depositions, both Goff and his partner recalled only one shot being fired. It is undisputed, however, that Doucet or Doucet was shot twice. The medical examiner's report establishes that Doucet was shot once in his torso and also the fatal shot once through the base of his neck. The shot to the neck traveled in a downward position through Doucet's chef. Goff recalled only firing upwards into Doucet's torso from a kneeling position. Both officers and a witness agreed that Doucet fell backwards after being shot. According to the report of JLD's expert, the difference in the locations and the direction of the two gunshot wounds directly contradicted Goff's account of the shooting. You mean he lied on a police report on a fatal shooting? Oh. Not only was Goff incorrect as the number of gunshots, but the expert also pointed out that Goff from his stated and demonstrated position, could not have positioned his pistol pro to produce the neck wound present on Mr. Doucet in terms of height, wound directionality, or Hold firearm on. distance. After you sign this here, you're going to get a copy of the ticket. It's not an admission to guilt. You can test it in court. I'm aware. Uh, I guess when you work for the LAPD, kill someone unarmed naked, you end up working for Beverly Hills Police Department and get awards. Yep. So that's the beauty. Uh, you get fired or you have to resign from LAPD. Well, Beverly Hills will take you. This is next town over. Okay. And also now you, know you don't know. Beverly Hills is its own incorporated city, so they have their own police force, their own police chief, their own mayor, all of that. Very well. Could you tell me? Okay. Pay and benefits, 205000 Let's see what it is currently. Oh, here we go for 2020. Aaron Goff. Regular pay, 112 overtime, 65000 Almost half of his pay was in overtime. Other pay, 23. Total pay, 201000 Benefits, forty grand. Pension debt, forty-four grand. So he cost us, so he made 201, but he cost us $286,000 in 2020.
This is transparentcalifornia.com. Check it out for yourself. All right, so here's where it gets really good and really sexy in uh, part two of this video here. Okay, so you ready? So this is a phone call to the city of Beverly Hills by somebody. All right, sir, sorry to keep you on hold. Do you want to file a complaint? Yeah, please. Okay, for what? Uh, I want to file it against an officer named Aaron Goff, 3047. Okay, and where did this occur? Uh, it occurred in Beverly Hills. Okay, where? I believe it occurred on Wilshire Boulevard, just off, I think, uh, Beverly Drive. Okay, did he stop you? No. Okay, so you didn't have a contact with him? Is this is this how the, com is this the complaint <laughs> process? Well, we have to evaluate it and see if a complaint is there, and then we can take we can take a complaint if if you. Um, are he hasn't told the the idiot cop that he's a lawyer yet. Are eligible to file a complaint against the officer, but I, that's why I'm asking these questions. I, I have to be eligible. I can't. I mean, is there just like a, a form, or is there something like this? Well, you, uh, you, you, if, if you weren't a subject to a stop or uh, you just saw something that you feel is unprofessional, or whatever. No, you can't file a complaint. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't file. I can't file a complaint against an officer who didn't directly victimize me. That that is correct. Oh. Uh, that's a and that's per Beverly Hills Police Department policy. That you can't file. You're 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 not a party to the complaint. It's just kind of like you can't be a victim of a crime when the crime didn't occur against you. Right, but I. But you're saying even if I witness misconduct, they can't file a complaint. If you personally, if you personally witnessed it, but watching something third party on a video does not give you grounds to make a complaint about an officer. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything about seeing anything on video. Uh, okay. Well, we get a lot of those calls where people call because they saw something on video and now they want to complain about it. And I'm saying that if you're not a direct party to the, the, your, the perceived misconduct, then you can't file a complaint against them. Uh, what's your name, sir? Sergeant Coulter. Sergeant Coulter, you're saying it's Beverly Hills Police Department policy to not take a complaint if you if uh, against an officer if you weren't directly victimized by the officer. No, what I'm saying is, is if you're not a direct party to the actions that could be construed to be misconduct or that you interpret to be misconduct, then you cannot file a complaint. So I can witness misconduct. And I can't follow. And who determines who determines whether it's a valid complaint or not? Well, if if a complaint oh, is filed, we then we follow up on it. Here we, we do go. An investigation. Right. And, and who and who determines whether a complaint should be filed? Turn the screws. Well, like I said, we we vet out whether or not you're in a position is, to file who, a complaint. Who is? I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and be interrogated with you. Were you directly impacted by something that the officer did? <laughs> no, but here's what I am. I'm a criminal defense attorney, uh -huh. and I happen to know that what you're saying is not only untrue, but it's also illegal. <laughs> Listen to this pause. Listen to this pause. So what do you want to do? Uh, I want to file a complaint. And <laughs> for what? Wait, you're, not you're not telling me oh. what he did. I, I don't, are you the one who evaluates the complaint? Okay, I'm... Just answer my question. Oh, there we go. Talk to, to you that, that gives you the right to file a complaint against them. No, but first I want to hammer something out. Are you vetting me to see whether yes. I can file a complaint? Yes. Or are you making the complaint? I am vetting it out to see if you're in a position to be able to file the complaint. I, 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 I don't want you to vet. I'd rather just file the complaint and whoever whoever actually okay. well, you can log, the complaint. You, you can... You can Log online, or you can come in in person, and you can fill out a, a form, and then uh, we will vet it out and see if you can legitimately file the complaint against the officer because you were uh, because you witnessed something, or you were a victim, or you were uh, contacted by the officer, or there was some reason. And then, if in fact it needs to be investigated, it'll be investigated. Is, is, it, is this call being recorded, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. All right, good. So there's no expectation of privacy. Is that correct? In other words, I can publish this phone call. Okay. All right, I just want to make sure. So you're telling me, I just want to be clear about this, that <laughs> Beverly Hills Police Department's policy is not to take a complaint unless you are directly victimized by the officer, and that witnessing misconduct is not enough. Is that correct? 
witnessing it how? Oh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that, not, that, this is what a GED in six months in the academy will get you. If you're not if you're not a party to the perceived misconduct, then no. But if you want to file a complaint, it'll be vetted out. I'm not set, but I can't guarantee that it'll actually be investigated. Right. So I'd like to file. So who actually uh, takes the complaint? Is it you? Well, uh, uh -huh. it goes through a process. If you turn in a written complaint, then it will go so, through our, or it'll go through our professional standards unit. Is is there a method? Is there a method of which a complaint can be taken over the phone? Uh, yes. And who takes that complaint? Uh, our professional standards unit. And who, and who in that unit is handling cases regarding Officer Gaw? Um, I don't know. We have we only have two sergeants in that unit. All right, hold on here. Uh, Senate Devermont, that's Mr. Checkpoint. Uh, Beverly Hills Police Department Professional Standards Unit received the personnel complaint he made against Police Officer Aaron Goff. The complaint was received on December 26, two days uh, later, 2017. And the above caption case was assigned to it. The investigation has been completed. The professional standards determined the allegation to be sustained. That means, yes, it was, the police officer was at fault. A year later, they responded. So it would probably be one of those. Who are they? Sergeant Olson and Sergeant uh, Trejo. Sergeant Olson, Sergeant Trejo. And do they have a Olson. direct extension? What kind of name is that? Uh, yes. So here are the classification of complaint dispositions. Unfounded, the act complained of did not occur. Exonerated, the act occurred, but the act was justified lawful and proper. Not sustained, there's insufficient evidence to prove or disprove clearly the allegations made. And sustained, the act complained of did occur and constitutes misconduct. I wonder what they did to Goff. 211, uh, 310? Uh-huh. 285? 2127. Okay. 2112, is that what you said? Yes. And have you been instructed by them to vet complaints for them? No, I was instructed by our chief of police. Oh. Uh, the chief of police. Uh, fish stinks from the head down. The chief of police told you to vet complaints before they yes, get to Olsen. Been, yes. It, and you've My been job is a supervisor. Right, and you've been instructed if it's something by that needs to be addressed. If it's something that needs to be addressed right now, then I want to address it immediately but when you're cryptic about what you've seen or what you're asking then i can't really vet it out very well can i right you you you've never told me you, this entire conversation you've never told me what he did what misconduct he committed <laughs> and, and you're telling me that the chief of police told you not to take complaints unless the person I, has I, a directly I, been victimized you're, put, you're putting words in my mouth all right because because here's what i think is happening Okay, I think that you're trying to dissuade me from making a complaint and making a judgment on the complaint before it's actually been filed. And I think you know you're that you're, enti you're entitled. You're entitled to think whatever you want. Just my opinion, shared by millions. All right. So my question to you is: that if, if, even if, I, even if you feel that you know I should be vetted out, am I still entitled to file a complaint? I told, I told you. The, I already told you the process for doing that. If you want to file a complaint, but I'm just telling you that. It may not be investigated, and I don't want you to come in disillusioned. Uh, oh, so you're protecting me from being disillusioned? <laughs> I appreciate it. Are you aware of the, of the laws regarding and the regulations that govern taking complaints for police departments? Yes. Okay. And that's why I told you the No, it sounds like you're not. ...process if you want to file a complaint. Okay. All right, so can you transfer me now? So my question is, can a complaint be taken telephonically? Uh, yes. And so can you please transfer me to the people who will take that complaint now? Sure, absolutely. And who will you be transferring me to? I'll be transferred to our professional standards unit. I don't know who will answer the phone, but that's who I'm going to transfer you to. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Officer Aaron Goff. Okay, guys. So, like I said, Mr. Checkpoint has mostly been on Instagram. He's got 311,000 followers on Instagram currently. So what he's trying to do, he's trying to uh, transition some of his stuff, or most of his stuff, over to YouTube. And like I said, he's got a main channel and a live channel, and the guy is an absolute beast. Nicest guy in the world, does a ton for homeless vets. So go check him out, go check that out, you won't be disappointed. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe to this channel if you like the content and you want to find your way back, hit the subscribe. 
button, click on the bell notifications. I also have a live channel where we go live and follow the police scanner on the weekends. Memberships are also available on the channel if you'd like to support the channel. If you'd like to financially support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description. I am also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can find me there as well. More importantly, I have my johnny50.com website, which is an uncensored version of this YouTube channel and has exclusive content that I can't post on YouTube that is far too graphic, far too violent, and YouTube will not allow it. So check that out. It is 25 bucks for the year. The link is going to be at the end of this video. It's going to pop up on the screen if it's not up there already. So I appreciate everybody's being here and lots of love for all of you. Check out Mr. Checkpoint. Even that one guy.